Well, good day, everyone. We've been talking about living within the boundaries of God's word. And if we go outside of those boundaries, there's a danger of God giving us over to the desires of our heart. For you see, if we consistently resist uh, his plea to live within his boundaries, then he's just going to let us go our way. Now, it doesn't mean he doesn't love us. He loves us whether we're inside the boundaries or outside the boundaries. But we talked about Romans uh, uh, chapter number one, three times uh, it says that God gave them over basically to the desires of their heart. Verse 24, it was the lust of the flesh. We talked of a fornication and adultery. Verse 26, the homosexuality. But today we see internal sins. Now, a lot of times we just see the outward sins and the result of it. And the, we focus and make those, you know, really big. And they are important. They're big sins. But all sin comes from the heart. And we see here some internal sins that Paul deals with. Verse 28, it says, and since they did not see fit to acknowledge God, God gave them up to a debased mind. That's the third time it used those words to do what uh, ought not to be done. They were filled with all manner of unrighteousness, evil, covetousness, malice. They are full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, maliciousness. They are gossips, uh, slanderers, haters of God, insolent, haughty, boastful, inventors of evil, disobedient to parents, foolish, faithless, heartless, ruthless. Man, this sounds like a culture in which we live in today, my friends, where people are determined to do what they want to do. Now, I want to just remind you that Jesus said in John chapter 15, he said that I am the vine, you're the branches. We spoke of this uh, about a week ago and how if we're connected to the vine, we have the character, the same thing that's in the vine we will have. And, uh, and in Galatians chapter 5, 22 and 23, Paul talks about the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace. There's nine of those, but there's also not just the fruit of being connected to the vine, but there's fruit of not being connected to the vine. And if we are determined not to be connected to the vine, then these things are going to be flowing out of us. And then if we are uh, consistently resistant to the Spirit of God, He will give us over to those desires of the flesh. And the result of that is death. Uh, don't forget in Romans 6, 23, it says the wages of sin is death. But notice here in verse 32, though they know God's uh, righteous decrees that those who practice such things deserve to die. They not only do them, but give approval to those who practice them. Friends, I want to encourage you. Let's live within his boundaries, his rules, his laws, so we can live. Well, God bless you. See you back on Monday. Bye-bye.